got to go talk to this guy. He he was hunting in West Virginia and he saw, uh, you know, a cinnamon colored Bigfoot. And then you start to hear all these stories from people that are serious people, right? They're not. And, and it's just I'm not asking about it. They offer up these stories because they're telling you about the history of their pride. They're proud to tell you. So. With that combined with understanding the scale of the U.S. and then these stories that are separated by thousands of miles from people uh, that they're just telling me, I started to think like, this is really happening. And then I learned more and more about wildlife. I love wildlife. And, and I start to think about could, could the wilderness and the ecosystems in the U S really sustain Bigfoot as a, as an organism, right? Yes, I think so. Uh, bears make it large mammals like elk make it. There's mountain lions, there's wolves, there's, plenty of prey there's plenty of food 